Today's episode of Single Mom Survival, we're going to take a look at the new update for the Coke Oven and do some updates to it, or actually upgrade it next. Malcolm 1974 back at you with another episode of our single mod survival where I take a single mod in this case immersive engineering and use it for the majority of my let's play in other areas where immersive engineering does not cover we have installed the other mods to uh, fill that gap but in most of the let's play we're using immersive engineering for our stuff so today we're going to be going over the crude blast furnace now when we first started the series we actually made a blast furnace but with the changes to point seven point zero seven point zero uh the blast furnace we'll read about it right here among other uses for the new plates is the creation of the improved blast furnace out of this reinforced Blast bricks. This new blast furnace is a much faster way of creating steel and automatable. The old blast furnace has been aptly named crude blast furnace. It cannot be automated. Both furnaces create slag now. Okay, so you see we're still making, I'm still making some uh, steel here. I got plenty of steel for this. And as you can tell up in the little tool tip up there, it says crude blast, blast furnace immersive engineering. So what we want to do is we want to actually upgrade this today. But before we upgrade this, we're going to go over some of the, some of the things I've did off camera for you guys. I have now installed a fluid pump into the coke oven that empties, uh, the creosote oil. And I've done some changes. And I told you, if you guys look, I now got, I've done some changes. I got chisel, my chisel out. And what we've done is we brought some pipes out from the Coke oven. And I've made it, I made it go underground because I just thought it looked prettier, uh, better, kind of more industrialized. And we now have a fluid tank that holds creosote oil. And now that we're outside, we can also look at some of the changes I've made outside. I have pretty much laid some brick down here to make uh, everything look a little bit better. If you remember last episode, this was still grass. This was still uh, all the other stuff. And we have a little, we have little Miss Missy back there, kind of, kind of grunting and moaning. That's my little baby, my new little baby. I've told you guys about. She's it's morning time, and she's spending some time with us. She's kind of sleeping right now. I haven't done anything up here yet. And last episode, we also upgraded the windmill to. Uh, to its better version. So those are the upgrades I have done. So now looking at the improved blast furnace, all we need to do is take the, rich, the the actual brick that we have now and we combine it with steel plate and it'll make reinforced blast brick. So we'll go over that, how we're gonna do that first. So one of the first things we need is steel plate. And I've gone through the the trouble of making a few here. We got 30 in here. It's almost enough. Of course, a few episodes ago we made the metal press, which just automates the process of making the plates. Makes it a little bit quicker than doing it uh, manually with the engineer's hammer going like so. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just throw a couple more of these in here. You gotta stand away from it, cause or it will, uh, or I'll suck up those pieces. And then we'll grab the plates and we'll break down that furnace and we'll try to do all kinds of stuff to it. See if we can automate it a little bit and a little bit, bit, bit and other stuffers. There we go. That should be plenty. Thirty-seven. That's thirty-eight. So I'll come over here like so. We'll pull some of this out and pull the coke, coke and that. And we'll go like this and this and this. Now the picture shows that to automate this, they are using, he basically uh, was using, uh, ugh, I can't think of the name here, the hopper. So I'm not sure if you need the hopper for it to work. So it's probably 
how it's going to be. So the structure of the furnace is similar to its crude. Let me see. Yeah, so it does require a, a hopper. Um, the structure of the furnace is similar to its crude predecessor, but the bricks have been reinforced and a hopper was added at the top to funnel in the inputs. Okay. Steel is output at the front of the furnace, slag at the back, and the furnace will automatically output to connected inventories or conveyor belts. Iron and coal coke are fed in through the top. So that makes perfect sense. So let's keep breaking this down. It's because of course first we have to actually upgrade the bricks here. And it does say in the book that this is probably one of the first upgrades you want to make because it's really all you need is steel. In fact, I'm I'm under the impression that you could probably if you really really wanted to, no you really can't. No, you can't skip it. I was thinking maybe you could skip it, but you can't because you still need to make uh I believe you need yeah, because you need the the other furnace, the original, the crude bl the blast furnace to actually make your first set of steel plates and then you can upgrade it. So yeah, so as you can see, now I have 27 reinforced blast bricks. Let's go get that hooper. I usually have a few of these laying around. I do, I have two of them. And we'll put these in here and in here. And we'll just lay it down like we had it before. Uh, does that have a hole in it? Let me look. Group uh, blast furnace, we'll like this. Let me see them make it. 27, 1. I don't remember if it has a hole in the middle or not. I don't remember, guys. I'm thinking it does. No, it doesn't. It's 4 high, though, right? 3 by 3. Yeah, okay. 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I might have to break this roof down. Let's take a look here. And as always, I have to stand on something to actually get it because the hooper goes in the middle. Let me get some dirt. that and of course you always need to hit it with a hammer usually it's in the middle BAM holy crap see that's that's the one thing um, that always catches me off guard is because I don't actually see the picture of what it well okay so that oh I didn't even know that okay so, <laughs> so there you go guys if you want to actually see what it looks like uh, after it's completed all you gotta do is press that little box here it's in between the up arrow and the down arrow I was like I was about to say wow I never know what it looks like before it uh it does its thing and it's kind of strange that it has these uh, uh oh uh oh uh oh yeah once you step on these things they're a little pretty hard to get off and you go that way all right so that is uh pretty fantastic now I haven't upgraded my texture pack for the uh, 0 0.7.0 so I do have a, a few bugs in here when it comes to the GUI or the GUI uh, when it comes to what's showing and what you're supposed to get so there's supposed to be a slag spot so usually the slag spots right here and uh, the steel will end up here so we can tell this part's not done I gotta I gotta look for the upgrade uh, update for this. Hopefully it's out by now. So I say we try to figure this out. So what did it say? Blah, 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 blah. But the bricks have been reinforced and I was added at top funnel input. So we know that steel is output at the front. So steel comes out here and a furnace will automate it output to connected inventories or conveyor belts. So let's make uh, some chest. I have that, but I'll just make a few. And we can make this one, two. 
So basically what it's saying is that it should automatically come out. Steel will go into there. And slag will go into there. Now if we want to feed it, we have to actually feed it from the top. And according to what this says, I'm probably going to want to make this roof go a little bit higher, I would say. So, we should be able to use... Do I have any food on me? I don't. Let me grab something. What are we going to do? We'll do... We'll do blueberry pie today. Alright guys, I am back. Okay, so I had a pretty bad crash. Uh, pretty much the worst crash I've ever had. Um, I'm still having issues, but... I want to try to work through this episode right now. We'll see how this goes. There's nothing in here, right? So I think there was an issue with immersive engineering with some sort of uh, entity block issue. It was it actually corrupted my world. I couldn't load it anymore. What I ended up doing is I installed uh, the newest version. So I'm now using 0.7.1. The biggest problem is that I can't look at what is point so because that causes a crash. I could do other things like I think I can do all this stuff, but I don't want to get any more crashes now. I just want to kind of fix these issues. What do I know that won't crash? And I'll look into these crash issues later. Let me get um, some food going like we were trying to do last time. So, where were we? Yes, we want to get a uh, another hooper. I'll keep looking for um, other updates here. Hopefully, we get another one that will update the problem with uh, looking at <laughs> looking at that book. Okay. All right, you need to go. Cause I need to get way on top here. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we'll find out. So that should, in theory, work fine. As long as I can reach it. Can I reach it? Yeah, and I'll fix it. I'll set it up a little bit different later. So if we put that in, that should fall. And coal coke, that should automatically load into here. The coal coke's going to load next. Yep, there it goes. And we're loading that up. So let me grab some more of this. I'll get some more coal coke in there. Got to kind of grab that. I will update this a little bit later. And it's definitely warming it up. Now, these side parts right here are actually for an upgrade. Now, I should be able to look at this. Let me uh, try to figure this out. Oh, simple machines. Just got to find out where it is. In actual. I was looking, I was looking at it through um, that improved blast furnace. Okay, so if we look at... A little deeper steals up with the front blah 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 now what we can make also is called blast furnace preheaters blast furnace preheaters are used to heat up air and then blow it into the furnace to speed up the refinement process of iron each furnace can have up to two preheaters connected to the ports on each side and each preheater requires 32 RF to operate it so it does actually require um, things so let's just let's just make one um, they're not hard to make. I need a external heater, uh, fluid pipe, and sheet metal. So let me see what it's going to cost us to make external heater, which is this, this, this. I don't think I have any of this. No, I don't have this. These are easy to make. Oh, there's there's little baby girl. And we'll try to go like this. And I'll put that in there. And... We'll do preheater, preheater, which is one of these. Like I said, we're only going to make one. I should have, oh, I don't have, really, I don't have any sheet metal. Well, all I need is that. And like that. Again, what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to uh, make um, heating this up quicker. Now, obviously, on this side, I'm going to have to do some uh, redesigns here. I'm probably going to actually end up moving this somewhere, but for today we'll just kind of set it up and make sure it's all set. And I'm just trying to figure out where I put the thing. Blast furnace, Peter's can have up to previous 
Part of each preview requires 32 RF to operate. There's no more information. So let's, what wire do I got coming here? Let's do, wait, what is it? That should be, yeah, so that's a medium voltage. Let me get a medium voltage uh, wire. Is that MV? And we will get one, two. We'll need two of these. There we go. And what I'll have to do is I'll have to set this up like this. And we'll kind of have to break. Do I got my wire cutters on me? Yes, I do. And we'll break that, which will cause that to unfortunately go down there. But that's okay. And I'll reconnect this to over here. And then on the pre cooler, that's the fan. I'm guessing it can go right here. And we can run this down to this. Okay, so that's not working. See how it has zero RF? So, is it on the top? A lot of times um, these things are on the top. Ah, yeah, so there it is. It's right there. So, sorry about that. We go like that. We go like that. And we go like that. Now we are, now we're rolling. So the preheater should be making this go a little bit faster. Now, uh, I'd rather have another one on the other side and do that, but uh, I'll get that later. I'll kind of, I'll move this somewhere else and we'll, and we'll see next episode where I actually ended up moving that to. And we got Nicole Cook here. And I'm gonna actually set the system up a little bit different and we are getting steel ingots in there and we are getting slag in there so it's working so there you go that is the improved blast furnace guys and i hope you uh, enjoyed that i gotta go 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 take care of the little baby girl but until next guy next time guys this is malkuth 1974 just want to thank you guys everybody that's been supporting the series watching the series um, keep it up hit that like button if you uh want the series to continue and uh and you know to get more views and all that stuff to help us out and help the channel out and all that stuff i thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time malkuth out of here